Professor, based on your exposition, what kind of lessons do you think countries like Ecuador can learn about the importance of uh, foreign direct investment? Oh, the, you know, foreign direct investment can be very useful if you regulate it properly and make sure that uh, they leave uh, skills and management techniques and uh, knowledge about the global supply networks and so on behind uh, when they come in. I mean, uh, what you don't want is that uh, this foreign investors are coming in, exploiting natural resources, leaving uh, little skills and knowledge behind and uh, just going out like that famous uh, Texaco Chevron case. Uh, so yes, I mean, that, uh, you have to use it uh, that very carefully. And that, that the most important thing is that you need to have your own strategy because even if it's the same firm, if uh, you as a country have a good long-term strategy, you can that, uh, apply the appropriate policies to maximize the benefits and minimize the cost. But if you don't have a strategy, you don't know what policy to use. Eh? Finally, because this is a break, uh, what chances do you see of the arbitration system set up by these countries in UNAS or in the South to succeed? Oh, I think uh, this uh, requires uh, sort of a global political deal because, uh, yes, I mean, you can set up these uh, alternative systems, but uh, if uh, other countries are too afraid to join, or I mean, if uh, powerful countries put pressure on weaker countries uh, not to use it and so on, then uh, it's uh, no use. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think uh, Ecuador has been playing a very important role in raising awareness about these issues. But uh, the next step is uh, to build a stronger alliance uh, with uh, countries uh, in the region and outside the region that uh, face uh, the same problem and organize some kind of uh, uh, global collective action. Huh? Thank you, Professor. Thank you.